financial problems, elder law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now, here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is mom and dad have 50,000 of credit card debt and dad may need to go into the nursing home. We're going to address those issues. Pat Samasco, elder law expert, perfect person to have here. Good morning. Thanks for having me, Ken. Jeffrey Kirshner, disability expert, but all-around well-reasoned attorney. We want you here for your advice and counsel. I'm here to help, Ken. Thank you. I can't wait. Come on. What you got for me, Ken? <laughs> Brian Small. We needed somebody. We have a lot for you. <laughs> we needed somebody in a blue shirt, and we have you here. <laughs> All right. Well, and financial guru and wizard of bankruptcy. There we go. Good morning. Okay. All right. So now let's, let me give you the facts. I want to get right into it because time goes fast. Mom and dad, Betsy, 78, William's 84. They're living off of Social Security. They've got 3100 a month coming in. William gets 2000 Betsy at 1100 They have $300,000 in an IRA. Their house is worth $150. They've got a mortgage of $100, so they've got $50,000 of equity, so they're still making a mortgage payment, which is $1,100 a month. They've got <laughs> $50,000 of credit card debt that's costing them $1,250 a month. Their car is leased. No, they have. They own one car. It's got three thousand dollars of equity in it. They're paying four hundred dollars a month on it. If you look at their income and expenses, they've got thirty-one hundred coming in. You look and see what their expenses are: house, car payment, insurance, utilities, auto insurance, food, and miscellaneous. The twelve fifty for the credit card payments. Their total expenses are forty-seven hundred. They're $1,600 a month short. That IRA keeps getting used up to accommodate that. Well, they're $1,600 a month short, but they are retired. And isn't the IRA exactly the tool that you're supposed to utilize to supplement your income from Social Security as you get older? That's the idea. Yes, but the goal of the IRA is for it to survive long enough so that you have enough money to live to the end of your life. And the question here is, twelve fifty a month of that shortfall is getting eaten up by those credit cards. Well, then there's a simple solution to that. Well, when you propose your simple solution, because that twelve fifty is a big concern, I'm also concerned because I'm throwing out the extra carrot. It's not a carrot. William's health is deteriorating, and we see the possibility that he's going to need to go into a nursing home. That's nine to $12,000 a month of expense for the nursing home care. Average stay, I think you told me, Pat, was 31 months 32 or something? Months, 32 yeah. months. That's a ton of money. So I want to talk about both of those issues. I want to talk about their credit card debt with you, Brian, and then I want to shift over and Pat guide us through what do we do about William and how do the two of you have to coordinate on these plans so that we don't create any chaos. Well, there's already chaos because they're $1,600 a month short and they're using up their IRA faster than the likelihood that Betsy is going to need that money. She's going to live to 98 or 100 and it's going to run out by the Maybe. time she's 88. Well, not just that, but this doesn't take into account any other disasters that may come into effect. This doesn't take into account rising costs of goods and services. This just takes a look at income as it is now. They, they're going to need the some roof needing to be replaced, right, so, but, the right, furnace but, being okay, replaced. Okay, so, so William and Betsy, all right, that's their situation. But do they qualify for a Chapter 7 bankruptcy? Is it okay for them to file a bankruptcy? What, what do they do to, pre, let's for, for now, let's talk about what do we do to fix their financial situation? And then as long as it doesn't muck up anything that Pat needs to do from a Medicaid standpoint, We'll go forward from there, and then Pat will guide us through on that. All right. So, 
Is it okay for someone that age to file a bankruptcy? It's or legal is it for like, any. I, I file bankruptcies. It, Unfortunately, I am filing. Can they withstand a, the pressure of filing a bankruptcy? Of course they can. And unfortunately, I'm filing a lot of Chapter 7 bankruptcies for our seniors right now. It's amazing. If you said to me 20 years ago when I was young in this practice and I still had hair, that, you know, where did I've I? I've known you 20't years. I did have you, hair. I never not a lot. You with hair. Not a lot. No, nothing. <laughs> but, but maybe I'm too old. And I don't yeah. remember. Is your But is your for name those William? who are watching the TV, <laughs> when do version, I get to talk? I have now put hair on his head. So, so no. So anyway, if you look at the situation, and you say, there's seniors as a mass group are starting to carry more debt into their retirement. It, this is something that's it's new in the last 10 to 12 years. Since the financial crisis, really, we've seen seniors continually trying to maintain the same lifestyle that they had, but their income has been cut. Their IRAs were cut because they lost value in the financial crisis. And so now $50,000 at 84 and 78 is, isn't unusual. For and equity in the house? No, I'm talking about for debt. Oh, credit, credit card debt. Okay. Equity too. A lot equity in the house is actually, they're, they're starting to get equity in the house again. Equity can be a problem. In this case, Betsy and William can file a Chapter 7, one, because their income sources are Social Security. Social Security doesn't count when we're determining income for a Chapter 7. That's one. So they have no income then? Effectively, in the world of Chapter 7, they have no income. And two, once we get rid of their debt, that IRA that they're depleting at $1,600 a month, they can start depleting it at $400 so a month first instead. Of, so you're, first of all, the first thing is the IRA is protected in the bankruptcy. It's 100% right? so protected. We have, we have to get out there. Do you see the same thing with your clients coming into you, that the seniors have more debt than that they had before? or is that? Yeah, you're starting to see that. Uh, it's funny because you can have a, a mom and dad that make two grand a month in Social Security with a million dollars in the bank, or you can have a family with 10 grand a month income with $500,000 debt. It's just how well they were saving over their lifetime. So, so, just, so it's all... Uh, it's how they lived their life originally. The spectrum yeah. it covers yeah. every different situation. Yeah. All right, so Chapter 7 then would work yes. for them. All right, we're, gonna, we're coming up to a break. I want you to tell us that when we get back from the break, what will the Chapter 7 accomplish? What will they look like going forward after the Chapter 7? And how much stress do they have to go through in order to get that done? Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your savings, and more. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Samasco Law wants you to know that laws are changing. Today, the average cost of nursing home care is $85,000 a year. With proper planning, we can help protect your life savings and get you the Medicaid and nursing home benefits you deserve. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. 
Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. So we're back. All right. William and Betsy are going to looking at the Chapter 7. They come in to meet with you. How does it work? They're, I mean, they're nervous. They're worried about this. They never contemplated this idea that they'd have to file bankruptcy. They think they've got 300, they have $300,000 in an IRA, and they're thinking, why should I do it? The answer well, is to get rid of that sixty, <clears throat> that twelve fifty a month payment they're paying on the credit cards. That's, that's the reality. When, when I sit down with my senior clients and I, and I explain to them what's going on, the first thing we look at is, is how much money do you have in the bank how much do you have in the IRAs, et cetera, and how long is it going to be needed for? And obviously it's going to be needed for the rest of their lives. How long are they going and to further live? further complicated if they need nursing home care and medical Correct. issues and everything else. And in this case, with the likelihood that William is headed towards a nursing home, we have to make sure that Betty is, Betsy. The, mo Betsy is the most protected one. Okay? There might be Betty, Betty. Was we're going to... William's girlfriend way back, but we're, Betsy we're not going even there. know about that. <laughs> Anyway, we have Just to kidding. protect Betsy. And so, in order to do so, we have to maximize the amount of money that's available to her to protect her for the rest of her life. Because the minute William goes into a nursing home, what's going to happen? His Social Security is going to be directed towards the nursing home. So instead of Betsy Not having... Always. Not always. Well, that's what Pat's going to adjust. All right, so they file a Chapter 7. They file a Chapter 7 afterwards. Their house payment's going to be the same, right? Correct. All of their expenses that we were looking at before are going to be the same, except they're going to completely eliminate the credit card payments. Well, they're going to eliminate their credit card payments, and they're going to eliminate the stress of all of those credit card payments coming due every month and trying to figure out whether they should buy their prescriptions or... Or just borrow from their IRA. Or borrow from their it, IRA. It, it, but you got to remember, too, with the IRA, not only does it shrink with your borrowing, but you can't trust the market these days. You have no idea if they're going to take another hit with regard to the IRA. I think Pat's going to have some comments on that probably as well. All right, so at the end of the day, with regard to the bankruptcy, they're going to go from $1,600 a month short to three fifty dollars short because we're going to get Correct. rid of that twelve. dollars But, but I want to make sure that, that everybody listening and watching understands just this is a straightforward process. We come in, we develop a plan, we're going to take all that nervous energy that you've got as the client and we're going to apply it towards the bankruptcy and we're going to make you feel comfortable in the process. Everyone understands every aspect of a case before we file the case. And it's quick. It's not a long process. It's not a long, there's no long trial. There's no long hearings. There's a quick little three, 341 hearing. There's a hearing. It's, it lasts about 10 minutes. And you get your discharge in what, three months? Yes, the government's a little months. slow, but yeah, call it three to four months. Okay, so it's a smart, it's by all, we all agree, it is the absolute smart move. Don't, the 1250 a month is use, is wasting money. It's not like, if you, if you had a billion dollars, if you had millions of dollars, you'd pay off the credit cards. But you don't have millions of dollars, and you have to make sure you have enough money to live on. Now, Pat, we're worried about William, okay? He... Isn't doesn't need the nursing home now, but we see where he's going. Dementia is is there. It's expanding. It's possible. It could be two years. It could be five years. It could be six years. What do we do there? They own the house. They got fifty thousand in equity. They got three hundred thousand in their IRA. They got a car with three thousand dollars of equity, but they're making payments. <coughs> Brian's getting. Are you good with them getting rid of the debt with the bankruptcy? Yeah, if you get rid of it, great. Um, I'm more focused on the uh, what happens with mom and dad. First of all, uh, do they got good kids? Yes. Okay. As a married couple, I can protect every dime of the assets. So if dad hit the nursing home the next day, next week, three months from now, under the law that we have right now, we can go in and ask uh, the court to say, mom needs every dime of that IRA, mom needs every dime of the income, and we have that all awarded to her and if he has to go to the nursing home, we have many, many, many cases that the nursing home bill is zero. Here, back up a little bit to explain it to me. For First of all, okay, 
He's got to go into the nursing home. So he's in the nursing home. Wait, wait, wait. Start, start off with this. What then, happens traditionally if you don't do any planning? Well, what happens with the married couple, the house is protected and the first $120,000 is protected. So uh, with that size of a If state, you do Medicaid planning. What well, if you no, do no, nothing? No, well, no if you planning. don't do anything. So we got three hundred grand, and they have a, the mortgage and dad's in the nursing home. Uh, mom could take the cash in the IRA, pay $100,000 in tax, pay off the mortgage, pay off the credit card, and she gets to keep half or essentially up to 120000 of whatever's left over. But that's not a good plan. In this case, there's not going to be anything left yeah, over. It's 100000 to pay off the mm -hmm. house. Okay, so that's 200000 in the IRA. And the IRA. taxes then? Yeah, it's taxes a lot in the IRA. Good. You're down to fifty. You pay off the credit cards. There's no IRA left. Right. That's not a good idea. Right. But that's what ma ma most people do. And that's what the nursing home will say. Well, just give us the money. And pay. then what happens? To it's the same bet. It's the a Medicaid nurse. Right, but what happens then to the husband's Social Security? Well, normally the mom gets to keep the first two grand in income. So if the income's three, uh, she gets to keep two, the nursing home would get one. So Betsy, would, if, the, if they do nothing, she'll lose. Betsy will have $2,000 a month to live right, on. Right, right. She'll have the house because yeah. we've paid it off. And the credit cards would be gone, but that's a waste anyway. You might as well go file bankruptcy. But she has no more money. Right. And then will Medicaid then take care of the nursing home? Yeah, well, okay. over the $1,000 a month patient payment. Right. This is, this is perfect. So if she does nothing, that's where she'd come out, which it could be worse than that in a we lot of cases. We had a family yesterday at the nursing home. Her husband, 11 years in the nursing home. She goes every single day. Yeah. We got him on Medicaid. The nursing home bill is... Now flip it around. If she does Medicaid planning, so they come do, what does she do to accomplish that? So this that? is a case that we had last week. Uh, we go in and we ask a court, say, hey, mom needs all of that IRA to live. Why do you have to go into court? Because it works great. It's okay. just a This is a way scenario. of getting the IRA out without having to pay the tax on yes. it? Yes. Okay. Get the IRA out of dad's name into mom's name. Okay. We ask the court to, that mom wants to keep all the money because she needs it and she needs all the assets to live on and when we get that the nursing home bill is zero Medicaid pays a hundred percent we're coming up to a break when we come back I want you to explain that to me further why do we need to do that process what happens to the IRA why does it matter that it's in dad's names versus right. mom's Tax problems are major problems don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets there is a solution we're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you're approaching retirement and don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your investments, and your savings. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Putting a solid strategy in place with Samasco Law legally protects your assets as well as your wishes. Since a will doesn't cover you medically or financially, Samasco Law goes beyond ordinary asset management protection to safeguard everything you have. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Time for announcements. Want to remind our viewers to listen to us Tuesdays 11:30 a.m. and Saturdays 7 a.m. for Lawn Reality Live on Praise 102.7 FM. Then on Thursdays 3 to 4, Lawn Reality Now on 9:10 a.m. with Cliff Russell. Also remember to sign up for the monthly contest: free $50 Visa gift card, Lawn Reality hat, and copy of my book Dump Your Debt. Go to the websites LawnReality.com or ThavGross.com to sign up. We've got seminars coming up on Wednesday, October 11th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Unless you shed the debt, you will never be free. We're going to go through all the systems that we use to preserve future income for you and your family. Bankruptcy is one option. We also have solutions outside of bankruptcy using debt resolution. We will have a special segment with Jeff Kirshner talking about the basic elements of addressing a disability claim. 
Attendees get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Sign up at lawandreality.com or thavgross.com or call 888-235-HELP. Remember, that's Wednesday, October 11th. Then on Wednesday, November 8th, from 6 to 7.30 p.m., we have a seminar, and estate plan will avoid major problems. We're going to go through the essential elements of a proper plan, avoiding problems with proper planning, protecting your spouse and your children. Attendees get a gold certificate for $300 off any estate plan. Sign up at lawandreality.com, thavgross.com, or call 888-235-HELP. Also remember, you can always come into Thav Gross or through Law and Reality for a free consultation. If you want to talk about Medicaid issues, you can meet with Pat Samasco, disability issues with Jeffrey Kirshner, financial issues, business issues with me or uh, Brian Small or any of the members of the Thav Gross team. Just go to the websites to sign up and request a consult, or you can always call 888-235-HELP. Take a look at the websites. We've got free reports. You can got, download them for free, one dealing with foreclosure, another one dealing with Social Security, a third one dealing with formation of a business. We'll be right back. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Thav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. All right, we're back. All right, so Pat, walk me through it a little bit slower for, right. for one second. Is I know I've got an IRA. It's in William's name, and if, he, if we cash that out, he's got to pay all the taxes on it. So is this idea of going into court so that we don't have to cash it out and pay all yeah, the taxes there's now? A, okay, so there's a couple things. With Medicaid, they allow us to protect the assets for a married couple because they don't want to put mom out on the street living in a cardboard box. So if you know the rules, you can take advantage of the rules. Uh, normally, you spend uh, most of the money, then the Medicaid will pay the nursing home. We can protect it by going into court and say, Judge, mom needs all of this money to live on. She needs all of the income to live on. And it's called an order for spousal support. We get that order for spousal support, the judge awards it, it's all her money, it's all her income. Isn't an order for spousal support usually something that happens in a divorce You're case, not getting though? divorced, it's just a planning technique that we use, okay. So you just get the order for spousal yeah, support it's separate. awesome. Now the biggest part of that too is I'm also a financial planner, so we can roll the IRA out of dad's name, because Medicaid says he can't have anything in his name. We roll it out of dad's name into mom's name, no taxes. She still has to take out the required distributions, and instead of paying the, the credit cards off, she can use it to pay her house payment. If she has to go into assisted living, all that money's for her. But the biggest question that you ask, he's not in the nursing home. Well, typically dads die before moms, right? Mm -hmm. 
If dad dies and that 300000 goes to her, she's only allowed $2,000. And she's not married now. She's a single woman. We would have to spend all of that money down to oh, protect it from the nursing home. If she needs a nursing if home. If she needs it. So the easiest plan is this. Remember I asked, do they got good kids? Yes. Change the beneficiary of the IRA from mom to the kids. Mom, dad dies, it goes to the kids. It's immediately protected from mom's nursing home issues. That's now, if trust, dad's not in the nursing yeah, home. Yeah, dad's going to die. So the plan is dad may die, you change the beneficiary to the kids or a special trust for the kids benefit and now we're trusting the kids to watch over money, mom with the money so the people say well the kids may steal the money yeah but if mom's in the nursing home the nursing home will take it so right what if both are in the nursing home well you it's hard that, that's the problem if you get down the nursing home then, then well, mom comes in god doesn't normally put both people in the nursing home they really don't or very very that. very few people they're both sometimes it happens we've had maybe two or three in our careers. What do you do with the house? Well, we do quick claim deeds or ladybird deeds to protect the house. What, what is a ladybird deed? Ladybird deed says a mom and dad own the house. If dad's dying, we put it in dad's name. Dad dies, it goes to the kids. It's protected if mom has to go to the nursing home. We got to, we got to uh, disinherit the spouse. Whoever's dying first, you need the money in their name. It goes down to the kids or in a special trust that gets down to the kids where the money's still protected. It's protected if mom's in the nursing home. And the need for that is because if not, even though you can keep your house, Medicaid can file a lien against your estate afterwards. That's one reason. But what happens if mom goes to the assisted living? Do we want to keep the house? The house is protected. But if mom sells the house, now you got at cash that's Which at goes, risk. Then that cash goes to Medicaid. There you go. So here if we can keep the house and the assets out of the survivor's name in the kid, good kids control to protect it for mom after dad dies or if mom dies and uh, then it will be protected for the survivor. So you do that first because dad may die and then if he goes into the nursing home you have to commit yourself to the plan to get dad on Medicaid. Let me summarize for William and Betsy. We've analyzed the need for a Chapter 7 bankruptcy to get rid of the credit card debt, and we've analyzed the need and the steps that need to be taken from a Medicaid planning perspective. In this half hour, if you've watched the show, if you've listened to all this and you're sitting there scratching your head and you're saying you're confused, that's perfectly normal. The point is, you're not the planner. You're not the one who can figure this out. Pat is the one who can figure it out on the Medicaid planning. Brian is the one who figures it out from the standpoint of the bankruptcy need. And the question that they need to do is to meet with you, talk to you, sort out your issues to make sure you have the right steps, then explain it to you so you understand it. And let's throw Jeff in. If one of their kids is on Social Security disability, we can protect 100% of the money immediately because that child's on Social Security disability. So then there's another benefit. There's Jeff. That's we'll, why we're here, Jeff. We'll be back <laughs> That's next my week point. with Law and Reality. <laughs>